And so this one is on resistor simplification and current division. And we are told that Fs is 5 volts. Well, were there any questions on the first problem before I go on? Okay, so we want to find the current through R4. But in order to find the current through R4, we're going to have to find what I call the total current, or the current that's coming out of the voltage source. And then that current that comes out of the voltage source, it breaks up into two branches. Some of it goes down here, and some of it goes down here. And then that same current comes here, and it goes through R2. It doesn't change when it goes through R2, but it breaks into two branches here and some of it goes through R4 and some of it goes through R3 and then by the time you get to the bottom it's all back together and it's all the same current. But in order to figure out what the current actually is we have to figure out what the equivalent resistance is and we need to use Ohm's law and so we need to figure out the equivalent resistance of our entire circuit. So um, we're going to look at combining these resistors in parallel and series until we get down to one equivalent resistance. So we'll start with R3 and R4. R3 and R4 are parallel and we know they're parallel because their tops are connected with nothing in between them and their bottoms are connected with nothing in between them. If there was a resistor in there they would not be parallel. So R3 parallel R4, we have our um, shortcut for doing parallel resistors, and that's product over sum. So that would be 330 times 560 over 330 plus 560, which I get to be 207.6. So now we have found the equivalent resistance of R3 and R4. So now we can combine those with R2. Well, R2 is just in series with those, so we can now say that R2 plus R3 in parallel with R4 is going to be R2 is 330 plus R3 in parallel with R4 is 207.6 and that is 537.6 okay so now we have that the equivalent resistance of this entire branch over here that entire branch has an equivalent resistance of 537 0.6. So we can treat it as one resistor with a resistance of 537.6. So now that is in parallel with R1. So now we have R1 in parallel with this whole thing. And we'll do product over sum. and I get 274.3 okay so that's now the equivalent resistance of the entire circuit so that's REQ and so now I can find the current coming out of the voltage source using Ohm's law So our voltage is given to us to be 5 volts. We're looking for our current. We have our resistance of 274.3. And that gives me a current of 0 0.0182 
amps. Okay, so now, um, let's go back. and answer the question that was asked, which was the current through R4. So we know the current here is 0 0.0182. We know that some of it is going to go down this branch and some of it is going to go down this branch. So we can use current division to find what's going to go to the right. But we could find current division to find out what's going to go to the left as well, but uh, we we're interested in what's going to the right. So um, I, and I'll just call this I right, equals I total times R of the other branch and sum of both branches. So usually you would write it as I times um, R2 over R1 plus R2. I was just showing you specifically what we were doing. So I write equals I total, which was 0 0.018 uh, 2 times the resistance of the other branch which we got to be 537.6 times the sum of oh wait a minute I have 560 written down here. Oh, right. Because I wanted, yeah, I did. I made the mistake that I didn't want to make. Um, I want the resistance of the other branch. So I want not the resistance of this branch. I want the resistance of this branch, which is 560. And then over the sum of both branches, which is 560 plus 537.6. And that gets me 0 0.0093 amps. So that is the current that's going in this direction. Okay, now R2 is in series. So the current does not change while going through R2. It stays the same. So that doesn't do anything. But when it gets down here, it branches and we want to find the current going through R4. So the current for R4 is our total current, which is now the current on this right-hand branch, which is 0 0.0093, uh, times the resistance of the other branch, which is 330, over the sum of the resistances of both branches, which is 330 plus 560. And that gets me 0 0.00348 or 
milliamps. Okay, any questions on that one? Alright, 